Welcome to Pressure Points. Our topic is Tesla and autonomy and the pace of how their autonomy efforts are evolving. And as of this recording, which is kind of essentially midday uh, on Thursday, shares of Tesla are up a couple percent. At one point, they're up 4% and the NASDAQ is flat. And so the good news was last night, of course, Elon went out on X and uh, essentially posted that they're going to be expanding in the next week or so the number, the size of the fleet within Austin. And separately is that they're going to be within the Bay Area pending regulatory approval in the next one to two months. And so that's kind of the reason for the optimism. And I just want to start with the pressure point that uh, this is clearly as we see the investor uh, view of this, but also when it comes to the business opportunity, autonomy is really what this is all about. It's not about deliveries. It's about uh, the, what the stock is going to do this year is going to be largely dependent upon how they are rolling out uh, autonomy. And I want to kind of update on terms of what are the kind of like the new hurdles now. So previously, the hurdle was that they would have around a thousand vehicles on the road. This is something that Elon said by essentially in a few months, we'll call that the end of the September quarter. And there's no update on that. Uh, that prediction, but I would say that investors, present company included, generally think that you don't have to hit the thousand, just make a meaningful move higher from the call at 15 on the road today. Probably something like 200, I think would be sufficient, but uh, that's one kind of critical metric to uh, keep tracking, no change on that front. Uh, second, in terms of how Austin is progressing, now it's moving a little bit faster, increasing the number of vehicles here in the next week or so. That probably includes expanding the geofence slightly. And so I think that I would have expected that to be kind of late July. So consider that a couple weeks early. We're splitting hairs, but generally the bar there is that that continues to grow. And kind of I would put the real bogey again is that that grows to around 200 vehicles by the end of the September quarter. And the third is in terms of expanding the number of cities. And they had said by the end of the year, they would add a new city. And uh, saying that they're going to be in the Bay Area in the next one to two months, pending regulatory approval, is much faster than what I thought. When Tesla says uh, by the end of the year, I think December 31st at 11 p.m. And so to talk about that being potentially in September, August or September, is well ahead what I thought. And so... Uh, the good news is that that means things are moving along well. The bad news is for investors is now we have this higher bar, essentially. Now, they didn't say that they're going to add more cities this year. They did talk about uh, six cities in general. Elon talked about kind of expanding the number of cities in total. But as far as what the bar is for, through the back half of the year, it really comes down to uh, hitting, uh, just getting San Francisco right. So this is the A topic. Just keep focusing on anything autonomy related is really what is going to be, I think, uh, driving shares of Tesla. And overall, good news for Tesla investors is that uh, the, the experiment in Austin, I think, is now moving from experiment phase into more business phase. On behalf of Pressure Points, bye for now.